Hey everyone, it is Rodney1210 and welcome to another geocaching adventure. As you can see behind me, I'm in a really awesome spot in, uh, amongst Sydney Harbour and I have just found this really, really awesome container. Check out that. That is really well camoed. Alright, best thing about this one too, it's also unloved. But, am I feeling good? No, no I'm not, and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, it is another dark side of geocaching. Let me put this back and I'll tell you all about it. All right, so that was a bit of a difficult level three puzzle to find the coordinates to that. So you're probably thinking, Rodney, it's an awesome location, awesome day, great camo, difficult puzzle, unloved. Why the hell aren't you happy with that hide? Yeah, I found it, but I didn't solve the puzzle. A friend of mine solved the puzzle, worked quite hard on it, sent me the coordinates and said, hey, let's meet down here. So I said, cool, I'll, I'll come meet, meet you down here. She said, I don't want to do this on my own. So I met her, I'm meeting her down here and um, I live a lot closer. So, um, you know, I got here first and she even said, go, go find it. Cause you know, we can both claim the, the unloved on the same day, right? And so, yeah, I um, didn't solve the puzzle. Just came and found it and found it quite, quite easy. And um, yeah, I'm glad for a, a find. A find is a find, but um, I'm feeling a bit like a fraud because I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, didn't solve the puzzle. So I'm feeling like a fraud. I feel like you know, Rodney, you're not that great because you didn't solve the puzzle. If it weren't for your friend, you wouldn't be here today. And uh, and that's true. So that's the way I'm feeling. But you know, this is what happens sometimes in the game. If you go out with a group of people, one person finds it, well then we all claim the, the find. You know, if, um, how many times do we consult each other uh, with puzzles and help each other out? And you know, how many times do we you know, sl sneaky give someone the, the coordinates or, or you know, we give someone the answers to an earth case so they can claim it? How often does this happen? You know, it's part of, of the game sometimes. You know, we work together. If I had to solve the puzzle, would I have given her the coordinates? Yeah, of course I would have. You know, um, how many puzzles have I, have I solved? How many times have I found the sneaky one? You know, how many times have I got that absolute feeling of joy because I was the one that found it, it was hard, you know, especially when I've been out with cases a lot more experienced than me and I've made the find and they haven't. You know, um, th this is what happens, it's an all part of the game. And uh, feeling like a fraud. So there we go, that's another dark side of, of geocaching. It's this feeling of like a, like a fraud when you haven't quite worked hard to, to find it. You know, sure, if I had worked really hard at the puzzle and come down and made the fight, I would have felt so good. So, so good. And. You know, it's taking away this little voice in my head saying, you're not that good, you're not that good. It's just taking away a little bit from, from the, the success of finding it. But, you know, that's okay because I'll go find uh, a hard one sometime or I'll go solve a trick, tricky puzzle. By the way, my friend said, you know what, you would never have found this one. You're not patient enough to do this puzzle. It was a massive puzzle. I've seen the puzzle. I'm like, oh my God, it's so overwhelming. So I'm glad and, you know, I owe her a big thanks when I see her. All right, but have you guys ever felt like this? Have you felt like a fraud when you've, you know, gotten a coordinate or a hint or some help or someone's told you explicitly where a hide is? Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for letting me, letting me vent again. And uh, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and hit the little bell icon. That way you get to see all my videos as soon as they come up live. All right, guys, I'm Rodney1210, and I will see you on the next adventure.